I want to talk to you guys today about different types of extensions. So I'm Amanda Monker and I'm an extension specialist. I've been doing extensions for over 10 years now. I'm also a waterfall beaded row educator. So I love everything about extensions. I like to use all different methods to customize extensions. This first one here is a K-tip method. This is going to be one of the most customizable extension methods and the reason why is because this bond here can be cut down into smaller pieces. A keratin bond is made out of Italian resin and silicone. So this is going to cocoon around the hair and wrap so that we have a zero damage application and when we go to remove it, it's very simple and easy. It just slides right out after a professional uh, removal but these guys are great for thinning hair. They're great for anyone that's wanting to have a lot more dimension in their hair. They're great for filling in the sides of extensions with wefts. We don't wanna leave anyone with no hair in the front of their face. Um, so I like to use lots of different ones to customize. This is a Bellamy volume weft. You can see that the weft has a lot of hair on it. It's the biggest bang for your buck. You're gonna be able to get the most amount of length, the most amount of fullness with wefts. The Bellamy Volume Weft has three different tiers inside of it. So I can use it to customize to keep it density to density for application. The hair is also double drawn, which means that it stays thick all the way to the ends. Um, this is hand sewn onto the head. It is not a hand tied weft. I'll show you what a hand tied weft is in a moment. We like to use wefts to be able to create the biggest amount of fullness and the biggest amount of length and the shortest amount of time. We do typically customize these with an individual extension in the front, just because we wanna make sure that everyone is nice and full through the front. We don't want anyone having a mullet. This is a Bellamy tape-in. We like to use tape-ins to be able to do lots of different colors in the head. We also like it for a more full coverage method. Tape-ins are gonna be a method that needs to be removed every six weeks and then reapplied. It is used with an adhesive on the back here. We're gonna use a second tape-in to sandwich it together to be able to create a sandwich. Um, Tape-ins are gonna be the most flat method down to your head. I like to use them for full heads or for a quick application time, just depending on what your lifestyle needs. This is a Bellamy eye tip. So eye tip is a polyurethane tip, just like this guy here. Um, it's installed with a metal bead and a clamp. When I clamp it inside the bead, this is going to squish and fill in so that it can't slide out of the hair. These are really great for an individual method. So if we're wanting to do something with a lot of dimension in the hair and we're wanting to be able to have a reusable extension, I would use this route. It's really great for people with like medium to fine hair. Eye tips are very similar to K-tips. They're just reusable. They do need to be moved up every six weeks. A K-tip is gonna stay in the head until it's ready to be removed. A K-tip needs to be removed every four to six months, depending on hair growth. These guys just need to be moved up every six weeks and they are reusable, unlike K-tips. So this is all the types of different hair extensions we have to offer. So this is why we require a consultation at the salon because when I have all of these options and I've never seen your hair before, I'm unable to give you a price because we're gonna customize to give you the most fabulous hair. So if you're looking to get extensions, go ahead and get your consultation booked so that we can create your dream hair.